came out in 2006, but I started in the mid 90s, you know, busting flows, freestyling, rap battling, you know, things like that, rapping at parties to my friends. People always ask me, city, what you like to do? I sit them and say, that's an easy answer, fool. I like making feria and smoking mota. And drinking Corona and getting panocha. Yeah, that's right. My shit sounds tight. I fucking sit down, think about it, and I write. When it's done, the shit comes out tight. These motherfuckers know I'm steady, yo. Kind of got leaf fast to watch she fast. I know you love it. You don't like it, well then you could shove it. I'm too gangster. I'm too villain. These motherfuckers think they're tough, but they telling. They don't wanna see a bottom like me, cause I'm setting your ass set from the 323 all the way to the motherfucking 509, controlando with the fucking Pacifico. Yeah, that's right, with the 9XD. 16 in the clip, one in the chamber trick. That's right, SA, and I got the AKs, I got the grenades, and a motherfucker like me always stay paid. Yeah, be careful, there might be a raid. Haha, <laughs> call that leg. <laughs> didn't hear nothing come out for me for about a decade though because I got locked up from 94 to about 2004 about eight years or so off and on my life just wasted my first album I recorded it in uh, the studio on my C-Fonts called EMG I made it when I first got out of a pinta and shit this last time you know what I'm saying and I basically cranked it out in a couple of months people were tripping because they had multiple artists that had been at that studio you know what I'm saying, that they've been working on their project for two years and three years and shit like that. And you know what I mean, like, they just tripped out on me, you know what I mean? And I was just like, they will allow us. Southside rider from the big bad blessing. What they buy that say? It's all about the brand price. Something new to bump while you cruising in your low ride. Then in that traffic, Heiners at the stoplight. Tell them where the party's at. It's gonna be a good night. LA homeboy. Yeah, that's the ticket in the streets of Vistos where the real G's kick it. No time for the weak. No time for the fakers. I only associate with the real money makers. G's, ballers, players, hustlers. Yeah. And fuck all you busters. Yeah, I said it. You ain't messing with us. It's that big bad city of Los Angeles. People out there at homes, you know how the story goes. Set your own cross homes all up in your stead. It's kind of a learning process. I kind of just did it on my own, you know what I'm saying? I grind on the streets, slang them and stuff like that. And as it became known, you know what I mean? Because it was selling like hotcakes. People just, everybody wanted it. So people started getting involved. So I had street teams slanging it. 
I had uh, businesses slanging it for me. Then I got some digital distribution, and uh, you know, it's just been going up uphill from then, you know. Uh, so I started doing a lot of stuff up here in Washifas, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, they won't really hit the Chicano rap like they are in Califas, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to, I felt like I was putting it down for my people. So I kind of did some shows, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of shows in Washifas, like Spokane, Yakima, Tapenes, Pasco, Tacoma, Seattle, you know what I mean? And then I just to work my way down to Los, you know what I'm saying? That's where I'm from, things like that. I've been in communities where they don't even really hardly bump rap, but I'm like, I'm a strong believer that if you want to be mainstream, you got to, you know, slang to everybody and anybody. But then at the same time, I've gone to Portland, Denver, LA, and just get swarmed by, you know what I'm saying? hundreds to thousands of fans. This is true, there's gonna always be discouraging times for everybody, you know, and sometimes life is discouraging, period. But you know, if you're a soldier, you're just gonna keep on pushing, believing in yourself. I don't let nobody stop me, you know what I mean? I just keep it pushing. What's up, Sadio? Man, keep representing, bro, keep working hard, man. I know you can do it, keep it up. This is for Mark McCoy, Dope House Records. Alex Magania, aka AC. I'm when I'm on the microphone. I'm on the track It's My Life on Serial's new CD, Nightmares Turn Reality Part 2. I'm also the one behind the camera directing the music videos. You know, as far as artists go, Serial's got to be the hardest working artist I have worked with thus far. You know, he's like the Energizer Bunny. You know I mean, I can try to give people a positive message, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want them to make the same mistakes I did. I've been to Vario Life, I've been to the Pintan. Yeah, I've been in poverty and things like that, you know what I mean? Growing up, move around a lot. If it don't kill you, it just makes you stronger. You know, anybody can relate to that. It builds character. These people that have had an easy life their whole life, they don't they don't know how to deal with life. And those are the type of people that, like, kill themselves or something, you know? 